I'm down at Fjorta Ventura Golf Club. First time I've ever played here. So I'm on a little family holiday. So it'd be nice to sneak out and play around the golf. So I can't wait for this. Just teeing off eight o'clock in the morning. Looks a bit dull. Not, it's just early. <laughs> Apologies for the shirt. Didn't bring my golf polo, did I? <laughs> So I'm channeling my inner Jimmy Bullard today. So I've got three golf balls that I've just had to buy. So I bought a sleeve of golf balls, three golf balls to last me the whole round on a course that I've never played before with some clubs that I've never used before. This is gonna be a right challenge. See how we get on. Please don't lose a ball, Mitch, on your first tee shot. It's pretty decent. Slightly right of centre, bounding down the fairway. We're off to a good start. So yeah, I just had to rent some clubs, obviously. Didn't bring mine. And you got two options. You got the standard set, which was a Wilson. Bit shoddy, to be fair. Although last time I played with some Wilson clubs abroad, I played quite well. Uh, or you got the premium option, which I've just chosen some tailor-made sim irons. Now, I was after a stiff shaft, but we didn't have the tailor-made in stiff shaft, so gone for a reg. Let's see how we get on with these today. Come on, Mitch. Green and regulation to start. It's looking very good. Be the distance. Oh! I might have just rolled off the back. That's very unlucky. Very good shot. What am I there? About 15, 20 feet away from the pin. And we've not lost a ball on the first hole. Go, go, go! Close, close, close. I think I've got some green keepers waiting behind me. Let's try and finish this off, please. Oh, you are winding me up. <laughs> Damn. I want to take a par, but I can't. I've got to let it be, haven't I? First hole, new clubs, new putter, new wedges. No golf shoes, <laughs> just trainers that are already muddy. It was a good start. Right, I ain't gonna lie, this is a daunting tee shot. We've got a par five, it's only short, 450-ish yards, but that fairway down there is narrow. See if I can hit a similar tee shot to the last hole. Bring it back in wind, that should be nice. I'll take that. I might be behind the trees on that second shot, but I'm in play. I'm just going to play another six iron, lay up to about 120, leave myself a wedge in. So as long as I don't go left, and as long as I get over these trees, shouldn't have too much of a problem. Oh, I'll tell you what, I'm striking them quite well today. It's faded to the right a little. Should still be in the fairway. Wedge shot in. One thing I'm happiest about at the moment is I'm still playing with the same golf ball. <laughs> Let the wind bring it back. That was a bit heavy, but I hope it's all right. It's looking on a good line. Oh, I'll take it. It's a bit big, left hand side of the green. But we're putting for a birdie. One thing I will add is I love playing golf abroad. <laughs> And I've got some people in a buggy up my ass now, so I best get a move on and let these guys play through, I think. Anyway, trying to three put this, Mitch. Don't really like the feel of this putter, I'm not gonna lie. Go on, baby, go on, baby. Oh, my days. How close was that? No three puts this time. Happy days. Sim Max driver, 10 and a half, regular shaft. It feels flimsy. I'm safe to the left. I'm in the ditch to the right. We've got the wind pushing to the right, so I'm aiming very left. Oh, I've absolutely smoked that with a beautiful fade down the middle of the fairway. Love it. Let's try and just stick this onto the green, pin high.
cut across that a lot. It's going to the right of the green. Eh, not ideal. But I'm on the green. It's got a long ass putt. With a putter that I don't like. Okay, another lengthy putt. These greens are pretty flat, which I do like on a new course. Always makes it that little bit easier. Nice easy par, I'll be happy with that. It's a good roll. Go on, turn for me, turn for me. Oh my God. How the hell has that not dropped? That is two putts in a row where I've been close to birdie. Wow. I mean, I'll take it, but it's not close. First par three, it's about 150 yards to the middle, but the wind's quite a lot against me, so I'm gonna club up with a seven iron. It's quite tight down there, to be honest. It's not bad. Left hand side, is it gonna be the right distance? Oh, it's miles short. Not great. Thank goodness for relief, eh? That's minging. <laughs> I'm just gonna dink a little pitching wedge onto the green and hopefully it runs out towards the hole. That's miles too big. Oh, no, it's not actually, it's all right. I thought it was massive. Pin high, but got a tricky one for a par. Okay, so it looks like we've got a slippy little right to left, actually. First time I had a breaking putt, to be honest. Fancy my chances, I'm not gonna lie. Last couple of putts I've had have been close. Oh, it's not broke at all until the very end. As if. Bogey it is. Okay, another par five. Waste all down the right hand side. But the wind is pushing from the right hand side, so in theory I should be safe. Trusty Sim Max, let's go. Come low off the club face, but it's bang down the middle of the fairway. No qualms with that, whatsoever. <laughs> Two over after four, that ain't bad. With this wind, I'm just gonna go for the pin. Hopefully let the wind bring it round to the left. And leave myself a nice little wedge approach in. Lovely strike, the wind is taking it. I just hope it's not taking it too far left. Beautiful, center of the fairway. Okay, I've been thinking about this for a while now, about upgrading my irons and my wedges, but mainly my irons, yeah? Um, and today's the first time that I've really played around with a decent set of clubs. I'm playing with some tailor-made sim irons. And I ain't gonna lie, I'm striking them well. <laughs> Even, and they're in a the regular shaft as well when I should be a stiff. So maybe this is going to be an even more expensive round of golf than I originally thought because I might end up buying a new set of irons on the back of this round. I've chunked it, it's got to go. Ah, that ain't good, that was a big chance. Roll it close, tap in par. That's all I'm after. Should be all right. Par again, happy days. Okay, this is interesting. Dog leg left, we've got water on the right hand side, which is easily reachable. Did I say water on the left? Water on the right hand side, which is easily reachable for me off the tee. Thankfully the wind is coming from the right, so it should. If I aim for these two trees on the right of the fairway, the wind should, in theory, bring it round to the left. So let's hope that happens. Don't hit these trees in front of you, Mitch. I've launched that. It's drawing round beautifully with the wind. I've not seen it bounce. Now I feel like I've massively misjudged that drive. Nice Mohique. Absolutely smoked that drive. A little draw. I thought I could easily hold the fairway. 
but I feel like I might be in the water. Fingers crossed. Take a look at this. I've absolutely creamed that t-shirt. I thought I'd gone in the water. <laughs> Surely I get a free drop from here. Hopefully this wind doesn't blow over the tripod again. Gotta go for me, you've gotta go. Oh, I'll take it. Right hand side of the green, it's rolled out quite a bit. We're putting for another birdie. It's a great roll. Stay there for me. Should be another tap in par. Get it. That puts me there. Uh, two under. Okay, you gotta admit, this is beautiful. Par three, again about 150 yards. The wind is into my face though, and last time I clubbed up, still took it a bit easy, and it landed short. I don't wanna land short on this hole. Oh, I've hooked it, pulled it a lot, man. Could be in trouble. I'm not in trouble, I'm safe, but I'm about 30 yards left. Run out for me, please, because I've chunked that. It's rolled out. It's decent length, to be fair. Got to give it a chance. That's all I've got to do. Oh, so close again. Bogey, net par. Not the worst. Got 200 to carry that bunker. We've got quite a bit to play with. Big bunker on the right, on the left, on the, on the right, I should say. Right, anyway. Oh, mate, that is outrageously good. Absolutely smoke that. I could well be in that bunker on the right hand side. This is a joke. Just carried a three with about 250 yards, according to the app. Right into the fucking sand. Okay, we've got about 125 into the pin. Out of the sand, which is very unfortunate, I think. It's a lovely strike. The wind has calmed down, which is not cool. We're putting for birdie again. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay, Mitch, come on. It's all about the weight. That's nice, stay there for me. Come on, Mitch. Nice and firm. Get in there, come on. Love that. I'm playing well. Three under, handicap wise, which is amazing. I'm just gonna try and take a nice three wood, maybe cut the corner a little bit with the help of the wind. After my three wood shot on the last hole, this could go a long way. Oh no! That is disgusting. That could be my first lost ball of the day. Okay, amongst all the volcanic craters of Fjordaventura, I feel like I've got very lucky. I have a funny feeling this might be my ball, and I hope it is. And it's not even out of bounds on the range. <laughs> Fucking get in. Wind's coming off the right, I'm gonna hit an eight iron. If I finish short, I finish short, I'm not bothered. Let's get it over this tree, near the green, get up and down. Oh my God. This isn't my best hole, is it? This is not nice. This is not the way that I've been playing golf today. My second tee shot is just in front of me. Uh, so that would have been beautiful, wouldn't it? But I don't have the luxury of that shot. This is my third. So I just want to try and carry this to the front of the green. Hopefully get up and down, but the chances are slim. Just get it on the green, Mitch. It's gone a bit too far right. We're in the heart of the green. Two putts gets me 
a bogey. Oh, mate, so close again. Two under my handicap after nine. Let's see if I would have sunk this for a birdie. I would have done as well. Oh, goodness sake. Unbelievable. <laughs> Get a good strike, Mitch. Get it down there, please. Fade's okay. Oh, my days, Mitchell. You fucking dickhead. That is embarrassing with these people watching me as well. <laughs> I had some people in the villa just next to me watching as well. They see me set up the tripod, the camera. Probably expected something decent. I tried to smash the hell out of it. I went about 20 yards. <laughs> this could be a bad decision, but it could also be a very good decision. Come on. I'm in the trees on the left. I've absolutely smashed that three wood into these trees here. And it looks like I've bounced out slap bang in the middle of the fairway. <laughs> what is going on? That could be really nice. I've clipped it lovely off the turf. Let's get it up there. Net pie will do. Going in, I've never been in. Oh my god! I actually thought I birded that hole then. <laughs> wow! That is outrageous golf. Unbelievable. I will happily take a par, but the fact that I've nearly birded that has left me a bit disappointed. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> what a crazy game. It's a short par four, it's only about 320. Wind behind. I've absolutely hooked the hell out of that. I actually can't believe I've just found this tee shot. <laughs> you know. I'm about 50 yards from the green as well. Half a sandwich. Oh, I've hit farts in the bunker. Might not have even made it into the bunker. It hit the tree. <laughs> Longer is better than shorter, Mitch. That goes without saying, doesn't it? Be aggressive. Oh my days, I've hit the tree and gone in the bunker. <laughs> what is going on? Thinned it out. Nice and firm. Get in. It's a par three, 160 to the middle, 140 to the front. It's a big strong wind as well. I've got a seven iron. Just hoping this wind calms down a little before I strike it. It's a great strike. I just hope it's the right distance because it's right at the flag. Oh, it's short, man. Fortunately, I get a shot on this hole. So let's see if I can capitalise, make a birdie, make up some lost ground on the last hole. Keep going. Give myself a chance, that's good. Come, Mitch. Oh, you are joking me. I was celebrating. How have you lipped out, man? Jeez, what a chance that was. Right, I need to sort this driver out. <laughs> Camera's gone. 
Okay, the game doesn't get any easier, does it? This is my tea shop. Lovely jubbly. That could be amazing. I'm hoping that's amazing. Oh, mate, I was so close to being really good. Get in there, come on. Love that. Fucking get in. Fuck you, wind. Okay, this one isn't so nice. Out of bounds all down the right side. Uh, but we've got a massive wind coming right into my face. And I don't have a driver anymore because I've lost all my pink tees. That is lovely. It's faded out to the right. I hate playing in wind. And I'm still playing with the same ball that I started with somehow. Oh no, that's gone. Well, I'm just thankful that that didn't hit anybody's villa. Crept onto the front of the green. I will take that. Go on. Oh my days. Can you imagine if I'd have sunk a par there <laughs> after that hole? Wow, net par. Give me that any day. Right, we've got a 200 yard par three, but the wind is with us this time. So it's gonna play about, I'm gonna to need to carry this about 170, I think. I love it. I absolutely love it. Be the right distance. Ah, oh, think, oh no. It's just crept down towards that bunker. I'll tell you what, I might not be on the green but you can't grumble at that from 200 yards. Or oh, get in the hole for me. Get in the hole, oh my God. I'll have to take one on the net. Dog leg to the left, it's only a short par four around the corner. But with this wind blowing directly into my face again, I would definitely not call it the easiest hole on the course today. Take it, it's nicely down there. It's gonna be a long approach in. I've no idea actually. But this ball just does not want to be lost. I ain't got much of a shot. Right, I have a funny feeling. I could get out of this predicament. gone directly through that palm tree and I have no idea where it came out. I have a funny feeling I might be in the top of that palm tree. <laughs> I really hope not. I'm just about to drop next to this huge palm tree. I look over <laughs> to the middle of the fairway and what would you believe it? Here is my golf ball. Not the best, but I've given myself a chance. Oh my God, not another one. Thank you. I'm gonna take a bogey on that hole after the trials and tribulations of it. Tricky little dog leg to the right, but this wind is blowing to the left. Gonna aim over these trees that are on the right side. Hopefully the wind bricks it, but brings it back down into the fairway. In theory. It's gone with the wind that, could be in trouble. Oh, nicely on the left of the fairway. It's only about 125 to the front, I think. But with the uphill and the wind, I'm going with an eight iron. Oh, I've hit it fat, get up there. It's a long way short, so fat that. 
Cool match. Nice touch. Oh no, it stopped before the green. That was looking great as well. I've seen more miraculous things than a chipping. Just a little putt with the pitching wedge. Oh! Break 80 has kissed. Well, it's really goodbye. Okay, finally, hole 18. I am sweating and tired. I'm actually going off the red tees here because the ground staff are working on the yellows and it's scruffy. Plus it opens up the hole a little bit, this tee. Come on, one final good tee shot down the middle, Mitch. Oh, I've gone right, that's so bad. That is shocking. Right, Mitchy boy, finishing strong now, hopefully. Oh, I've hooked it against the wind. That's a long way left, man. Right, I'm walking a long way away from you. Caught up. Ah. Nowhere near where I wanted it to go. Not to be, oh well. Let's try and get up and down from here, please. Come, Mitch. In the hole. There you go, guys. I'll tell you something, I fucking hate this wind. <laughs> V is away, to the right, two over net. Ah, not good, mid 80s. Nice course, tough conditions. All in a day's work. Right, I've finished my round, had a drink, a little bit of time to dissect. Really enjoyed it, it was tough man. The front nine, I played really well. The wind wasn't so bad. The wind picked up on the back nine and I got more tired. It was hot out there. Maybe a little bit of lack of concentration. Didn't perform as well. Um, thought I finished two over net. Didn't, I finished one over net because the 17th was actually a par five, which I didn't realize. If I'd have realized that, I'd have had a big chance at making a birdie there. If you're Ventura, if you ever find yourself here, get to the golf course. I'd give it a seven and a half out of 10. Value for money, six and a half, seven out of 10. It's quite pricey. Practice facilities are great. So if you want to come down and just have a little bit of a chip and a port, hit the range, they're fantastic. Of course, you want to play golf as well, don't you? Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next one.